We love Tyler Perry. We love when he stops by. We love when he has a new project. He can make us laugh. He can make us cry. And in the case of his latest movie, he can have us sitting on the very edge of our seats. He is the writer and director behind a film. It's called Mea Culpa. It's a thriller. It is starring Kelly Rowland. She's a powerful defense attorney who may be in over her head and then sparks start to fly with her new client. Take a look. I did not kill my girlfriend. This is my life, and they're trying to ruin me. And who would they be? That DA. He hates me. Why would he hate you? I don't know. Can you rap me? Maddie tells me you're the best, and if he says you're the one, you're the one. By the way, you chose Kelly Rowland. She is the one. Oh, yeah, yeah. She yeah. is the one yeah. you wanted in this film yeah. from the jump. It's not like she has a ton of acting experience. Mm -hmm. What was it about her that made you say, I want Kelly? I've been a huge fan for a very long yeah. time. And every time I'd see her do something, I'd say, oh, there's so much more there. If we could ever work together, it would be phenomenal. So her coming in, trusting me, putting herself in my hands, and also as a producer on the movie, she elevated so much of it. So I was so excited to work with her. Okay, this is not your normal genre. No. What was happening here? I mean, this is a thriller. It's scary. Yeah. There's love. It's steamy. Oh, you you don't know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, listen, don't sit with your kids, Netflix, and chill on this one. <laughs> that the kids go to the room. This is for mom and dad. It's for this is for the older adults. But it's a, uh, it's I, my mother used to love these shows. Remember the, all these thrillers from the eighties and nineties, oh, yeah. Sharon Stone and and uh, oh yeah, yeah a I, perfect I, murder yeah, and all, all of those. Yes, I wanted to all. get in play in that area. So that's where this came from. So just remembering some of those good good ones. You know what? You brought up your mom, who was such a motivation in your life. It was your purpose. Why yeah. you did so many things in your life. And I wonder now, like, what is it that is propelling you because I feel like every time you come mm. there's a new project yeah. there's more so what's motivating you these days well her birthday was two days ago so oh. she, she would have been 79 my uh what's motivating me now is just allowing I me mean, have an opportunity to like Kelly and Trevante and uh Nick and Sean and and Shannon all these mm. amazing people in the movie to get an opportunity for them to see themselves in ways that they never made it not have had it mm -hmm. not been for me having this opportunity so that motivates me that motivates you yeah. okay I got to ask you about Medea because oh, Lord. Oh, you Lord. know I had to. Oh, Lord. How could I not? Oh, Lord. Remember okay. how you said that? that yes, was... I know what I said. <laughs> what are you asking me? Yes, 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 yes. We well, yeah. thought it was put to bed. <laughs> yes. But here she comes. Yeah. She's ro she's roaring back. What's mm -hmm. going to happen? I don't know just yet, but I can tell you this. There's so much going on in the world. There's so much anger and yeah. sadness and vitriol and division. And every time I see that, I just want to make people laugh. So we'll see. We'll see what happens with it. And you got something going with Kerry Washington, yeah. which is a project that I, first of all, I hadn't heard this story. I think it's a remarkable story from World War II. Yeah. How did you find it? And how, tell me about Kerry's uh, role in this. Uh, it's the story of it's the 6888 Postal Battalion and it was 855 uh, women of color who actually went over to Europe during World War II that nobody talked about for a long mm -hmm. time. They just started to get some recognition. Al did a, he mm -hmm, did a great sure. special on them, a, a, a segment on them I thought was wonderful. But uh, Nicole Avon brought me this story and said, hey, you know, we really should do this. And we got Carrie involved, and now we get to honor these women and, and have the whole world see what their contribution was. And it's really powerful. I want to talk about your life for a second because yeah. I just watched your commencement address at Emory University before I started the day because yeah. I wasn't, yeah. you know, I woke up yeah. feeling a little bit in a funk and this, mm -hmm. this kind of elevated me. And you told a story about how you were going to work at a car sales mm -hmm. place yeah. and you got overlooked. You did yeah. not, you did not get that job. What did the owner of that place tell you and what did it teach you? Yeah, he, well, he wouldn't, he wouldn't interview me. He was one of the salesmen and he said that you, you he looked at my application. He said, well, you didn't finish this line. You didn't finish this line. You don't finish anything. You didn't finish high school. You, you didn't, didn't finish, finish college. college. Yeah, you don't yeah. fit. You're not you know, a finisher. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you're mad at this I'm, guy. I'm mad. I ball the paper up. I'm offended by it. I'm just. This is. You're just. You know, racism picking on me, and I. I leave, but that sat with me. So everything I do in life, I make sure I finish it now over and over again. So that bad moment turned into something good for now. I, I do not leave anything undone. You're a finisher I'm now. I'm a finisher for and sure. And that, that made me think of the very first project that you put out there into the world. It took yeah. you, just for people who are at home saying, yeah. maybe something's not meant for me. It took you seven years for that to succeed. Why wasn't that God saying to you, look, this isn't the right thing as opposed to finish it? Because it wouldn't let me rest. So that's like I tell people, if you've got a dream, this thing keeps, you try to walk away and it keeps needling, you can do this, you can do it, you can do it. That's my God voice. I feel like that's the God voice and go, do it, do it, do it. And that's the thing that wouldn't let me rest. Had I ignored that, I don't know what would happen, but I'm glad I followed it all the way through because I'm sitting here talking to you now. So your mom's birthday was two, a couple days, two days ago. ago yeah. What did you do on that day? You know what I learned to do? Because there's only been 15 of them since she's died, right? Mm. Get out of bed. 
that was the thing I had to do. So that 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 I was happy about. I was able to get out of bed and start my day. Yeah. Do you think about her every day? Every day, every day, every moment. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She must be so proud of you. Yeah. I know she was before she passed, and I'm yeah. sure she's watching yeah. every. I feel we, her. Well, yeah. we love you. This is a great, you're right. Keep the kids out of the yep, room. Yep. Get ready to mm -hmm. be a little scared. All the good things. It's, super it's, sexy, super steamy. You know how you do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, you're going to come back on the fourth hour and visit with yes. me and Jenna. Okay, yes. good. And we want everyone to know, Mad Culpa hits Netflix on February the 23rd. Friday. What? Friday. It'll be on there Friday. <laughs> Y'all watch it Friday. It'll be on there Friday. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.